Hello everyone, this should be a fun little video today um, comparing two types of uh, rocks or stones that uh, are often confused for each other because of their very similar uh, whimsical nicknames. Uh, one is Merlinite and the other is Mystic Merlinite. So how can we differentiate from the two? So let's start with Merlinite which is actually the nickname or metaphysical name given to dendritic opal. And yes, this is dendritic opal, not dendritic agate. They are different. They, they, they are different material. Um, this one in particular, the merlinite, is reserved for um, the dendritic opal. It's a form of common opal that has dark dendritic tubular or orbicular markings within the base opal, uh, which can be composed of manganese. And the dendrites, which are sometimes described as plumes, often appear to be shaped like moss, ferns, or trees. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Isn't that gorgeous? So those are most likely the dark black kind of manganese oxides, dendrites within common white opal. That is merlinite. Mystic merlinite, on the other hand, <laughs> here we are. There we go, much nicer to see now. Um, Mystic Merlinite is the nickname or metaphysical name for Indigo Gabbro, uh, which is far less valuable than its counterpart, uh, much more affordable than opal, uh, even common opal, and is often mislabeled as simply Merlinite, and that can be very misleading to new collectors very discouraging uh, when you find out you've not actually purchased what you thought you did. Um, so indigo gabbro is a mineral conglomerate that is primarily quarried in Madagascar. The typical colors of these rocks are a deep indigo purple and black, as you can see here. The word gabbro refers to a large group of dark, coarse-grained, intrusive igneous rocks that are chemically equivalent to basalt. The rocks can contain a mixture of feldspar, chlorite, serpentine, muscovite, pyroxene, hercinite, her uh, and magnetite within a charcoal colored matrix. It's still so pretty. Like, look at these beautiful flashes of Schiller going off throughout. See that? Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. I have two of them. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So Gabro in general, uh, Gabro, sorry, uh, is composed mainly of calcium-rich plagioclase feldspar, usually uh, labradorite or bitonite. Uh, and pyroxenes, uh, usually augite. Minor amounts of olivine might also be present in the rock. Um, and in mystic merlinite, you can see the pieces of feldspar because of their flashing shiller, like I've been pointing out. So one over here, see that? It shares the same type of shiller as labradorite, as moonstone, uh, which are all feldspar. So these little shillers that you're seeing going off within this uh, stone are the areas of feldspar. Very pretty. Some down here. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. So the moral of the story is merlinite and mystic merlinite are very different things and they are just, um, you know, beautiful whimsical nicknames that we've applied to 
uh, true rocks. So merlinite, again, is dendritic opal, whereas mystic merlinite is very dark uh, indigo gabbro. Very, very different uh, rocks. Yeah. Hope you found that a little bit interesting. I sure did. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you next time.